They can't shake my ground no day. If it's to fight for something worthy, then let us fight without fear. And when the fighting has commenced, war, just know that I will be there yeah, to fight against poverty. We gon' fight against world hunger. We gon' pray for humanity, and we gon' fight against wars. 'Cause we don't want no more bloodshed. No more of our brothers and sisters dying. No more children crying. No way. So even though they try to test our faith, they can't break us down. They can't take my crown no day. And it's only to the Father whom I pray. So can you believe for our first guest? Our very first guest, we got the king, the actor, the musician, the athlete, the the father, the I can't even I can't even begin to tell you how honored we are to have one of the best reggae artists in the world. Kimani Marley, man. Kimani, man. Brother, Thank you, man. man. Thank well, you so much. First. You're the first, man. Well, well, <laughs> <laughs> yes. So man, we're lucky Sexil. to have Kimani Marley here along with us, man. It's such a wonderful thing, man. And Kimani has so much rich history of reggae music and movies. He has a lot of stuff going on. But Kimani, I got a few questions for you, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? I want to start off with like, at what age was like the music just get into you? Like you started like maybe your first song or something with music. Mm. Well. I wrote my first song when I was 15 years old. Wow. Right. And, you know, at that time, um, it was on um, Crazy Ballad with him. Great. Right. Okay. And being the man adjusted a song on the Crazy Ballad with him. And, and then I went in, you know, went in to write a DJ song to it. It was kind of, you know, no words, last for words. Um, and came back and wrote one of my first songs, which was Dear Dad. Dear Dad. I remember and, that. Yeah, so I wrote Dear Dad at, at, when I was about 15, and I don't think I... Wow. I remember that song. Yeah. That song sounded like an older person, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it was well put together, man. I just wrote that song at 15. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. So when I'm down and out, lonely or just feeling blue, all I do, Dad, Dad, is think of you. The thoughts alone erase my fears and dries my tears. I'm just writing to let you know someone cares. You know, all those words were just feelings that we had inside. Yes. So, so you know, I say it all the time that that song was actually the easiest song I've ever written. It was almost like once the pen touched the paper, then the emotions just yes. came flowing out, and it was really just you know just speaking what my inside was saying to mm -hmm. me. Who was some of your like inspirations? Like who who like coming up? Like who did you listen to? Who did Kimani listen to? Um, well, you know, all right. So on on the reggae platform, you know, we listen to we listen to everybody. From, yeah. yeah, you know, what I mean, we, we we cover that ground. But I moved from Jamaica when I was about about seven years old. Yeah, right, and and came to America. I know when I left. Jamaica at the time, you know, it was really only one radio station. Yeah. So when I got here, I thought it was the same thing. I thought it was only one, <laughs> one radio station. And I remember my mom bought me this big, this this boombox. Mm -hmm. The boombox, and I tuned into the first radio station, and I left it there, figuring, thinking that it's only one radio station here too. So yeah. this got to be it. Well, it was a soft rock station, mm -hmm. right? And so early in my life, I I, I, I fell in love with music. Um, Guns N' Roses, wow. John Bon Jovi, um, you know, a lot of rock. Yeah. And 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 then fell in love with that genre of music. And um, so I was inspired, you know, on a, on a wide scale by a lot of music. After that, I got my first album, my first rap album that I got was the the Ron DMC the the. The one with UBL in on it. UBL, yeah. 
right? So that was my first, and and then, you know, I think, you know, just like you, we're 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 fans of the music, so yes. it's not really one particular. So Genre. you find that, yeah, yeah. So inspiration come from everywhere. Yeah, it's really like their artistry. Yeah, you know what I'm saying because yeah. I remember Guns and Roses and. I was watching TV as a kid and Slash, that guy with the hat, yeah. with the guitar, welcome yeah. to the jungle. Like that, that, that stuff like yeah, that really exactly. like caught my eye. It wasn't really like, you're right, it wasn't really like a genre. It was more so the vibe. Yeah, the of, vibe of, and the of, feeling. Of the that feeling, it yes, that yeah. made you yeah. feel like, you know? Yeah. So like growing up doing music, like, and you know, not to touch on, you know, of course you're the son of Bob Marley, right? Yeah. What did you have? Did, how was that making music? Did you feel like like every time you had to make a hit, or like was there like um, a lot of pressure going in the studio, and like just the creation? Because like you know my father's in a circle, right? So they're expecting yeah. me to become this big artist and big singer, and I became marketing and right. blogging and different things. So it's like, right. is that pressure there when um, you started? You know, BB, let me tell you one thing about me. No. <laughs> I can't say I felt that pressure because one thing I've never been afraid to do is just be me. Yes. You know what I mean? So, you know, starting out my career, you had everybody who said, you know, you're supposed to be doing this, you're supposed to be doing that because you're that. But if you notice from the start of my career, I, I pretty much went against the grain. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then what, what yeah, because what life... Yeah. What life would it be to live someone else, to not be able to live your truth? So yes. you, some people spend their entire life not even having an idea who they are. You know what I mean? Never really seen their self because they were so caught up in living for our, for everyone else yes. that you forgot. Yeah, for, me too. Yeah. You know what I mean? And me have to come first. Yeah. So never felt that pressure. Yeah. You know, um, You know, no matter what it was, uh, what it is, I've always, you know, like to write as far as where life is concerned and my mm -hmm. life is concerned. Yes. And we go through different emotions and different moods, you know. It's not every day I wake up feel like, uh, feeling lovey-dovey or romantic. Sometimes <laughs> I wake up and it's a war part, my yeah. you know what I mean? So we just express those things in the music mm -hmm. at all costs and, and, and that was it. Yeah, because I always thought, like, man, after, you know, I saw Shatters and I saw you acting and then I saw the music, I, you are so talented, come on. Thank and you, and I brother. feel like, me personally, Thank I feel like your career has just begun. Thank you. Know you know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I feel. I feel yes, like thanks. you're just, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you did a lot of big things, but yeah. I feel like you're just coming into your own, you know? I dig it. So I like that. If, if, if you want to talk the, about any, the, like, the new rebirth. project. <laughs> the Rebirth. <laughs> the Rebirth. Like it's that. true, the man. Rebirth. I, I, I see it. because it's dig like it. As we get older, we start, like, understanding certain Absolutely. things and understanding Absolutely. more and knowing our powers. Absolutely. And knowing how to utilize our powers and knowing how to just yeah. in the in the right way with the sounds and the different things and the, you know, the music business has changed a lot since yeah. we've been in it because we're lucky. We we caught the C D change we to did. iTunes and yeah. streaming. We saw that whole I got movement. a little bit of the two inch. Yeah. I got, I got a, <laughs> Which is I think I was we in were the... special. <laughs> That's why I make us different because we're so special that we've yeah. seen that transition yeah. like that. You yeah. know? Yeah. Tell me about the Maestro Marley Cup. Well, you know, football is my first passion and then music. And I think, you know, sports and music is always a good fusion. So the Maestro Marley Cup is really just like a, a little family fun day. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a family man as well. So it's a little family fun day where you can come out into a little seven-a-side tournament, play okay. some ball, and then after that, you know, you can, you know, just take in a little concert with, you know, myself and a few friends. Yeah, I think it's Yellow Man. Um, I think Yellow uh, Man. Yeah, Deb Wise DJing. Uh, Locos Puana, a Latin group out of Miami, is also performing. Yeah. So you're going to have a soccer match just starting right, like around yeah. 11, 12. And then it transitions to a concert. Yeah, you know, transitions to a wonderful concert. Wonderful, wonderful, man. You know? And, uh, you know, you can pick up all your tickets at, uh, what's the website? At the... Uh, uh, MaestroMarleyCup.com. Yeah. So get your tickets at the MaestroMarleyCup.com. Yeah. Support Kimani's uh, event. It's wonderful. I'm going to be a part of it. It's going to be tons of celebrities and journalists and big time soccer players going to be there, man. So come learn about the culture. Eat some good food. There's going to be a lot of food there, I heard. Yeah. <laughs> What was one of your favorite projects that you worked on musically? Like, you know? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's that's a tough question because yeah. it, it it oh man. It, it's so many of them because, you know, 
Anytime you get a chance to especially work with good musicians and yeah. good artists, you know, you can't really say one is more special than one because they each have their own, you know, um, I guess, special touch to it. Yeah. You know, um, I can tell you I do a lot of work in the Latin community, yes. exposed to the Latin community by none other than the great Mafio. Mafio! You know what I mean? <laughs> so, 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 yeah, so that is always a joy, and that yeah. is always something special, you know, to look forward to. So, hey, Mafio, big up yourself, brother. So, Kimani, you're always on the cutting edge of everything, right? So, you did Shot of the Movie. Big, big, huge international success. I've been seeing you film another yeah. movie right now. Uh, you know, a lot of behind the scenes stuff Man. and stuff like that. Is uh, can we talk about the movie a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, of course. So, I can't even show you a clip, but oh, we just can't show man. them yet. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about this movie a little bit. Um, all right, well, movie is titled Vendetta, Vendetta. slash um, Necessary Badness, right? Okay. So the movie is about a bridging who I try to leave a life behind. Okay. And you know, there's some things in his past that just won't let it go. Wow. So, you know, it, it's one of those things where you think it's like peace and safety, mm -hmm. sudden destruction. Yeah. And, you know, there's a, you know, there's a, there's a love story involved. Boy. There's family involved. Mm -hmm. There's definitely a lot of action. Yeah. A lot of action involved. And, you know, was was fortunate to have Major Hype on it. Yeah, Major Hype, huge comedian. I've seen him posting like crazy about the movie. Yeah, having him one set really to just, just, just the vibe you want to bring. So, you know, it's lifestyle day and then... Safari is in it as well. We have G Rod, who has done quite a few major projects in it as well, and and a few more surprises. You got a wonderful director, Antoine. Poor director. Kimani's always on the movie tip, and to do movies, man, I know it takes a lot of patience, and I, I don't know if they got have that patience. Like, what are the, what are like a set time? Like, what, how long do you stay on set? Day um, day? you know, well, me, all right. So first executive produced it okay i wrote the script wow lead director <laughs> right um 90 percent of it are casted okay and um so your so, hands so, are so, all so, in this one right yeah. so my days was longer than everyone right else's yeah. you know you had so the plan yeah, yeah so usually 12 hour deal for them is 15 16 hours for me wow and then you wake up in the morning now you don't sleep when you do it all over again yeah but um, I'm going to tell you, BB, man, it's like, I think sometimes, I said, first I said, you know, the big C was a blessing and a curse, yeah. right? I think the blessing for me in it was that I was able to really sit down and, 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 and get into a different part of me. Because enough time we have things that we want to explore, you know, but, don't, but we, we, we end up not doing it because... We're busy doing this and you know we, yeah. we, we, we don't find the time for it and it allowed me to find the time to explore um screenwriting which wow. was something that i was always interested in mm -hmm. you know so i wrote the script and yeah you know i mean it, yeah. it, it it really looked good not saying it because i'm gonna do it yeah. because i'm my own worst critic yeah you know i mean he's the man who take all a week for record one song because we <laughs> <laughs> oh, everything got a vibe word, right, right for everything off the floor right yes. yeah man right don't make no sense <laughs> so you know i was able to do that and yeah. looking forward to getting that movie out by the end of the end of the year but hopefully by the end of the year definitely definitely you you know, know. all your movies do great uh Anytime I see you in a movie, Kimani, I always know that it's the greatest movie, man. So, you know, yeah, you got a clip for us? I'm not sure you. I'm not sure you. <laughs> Boy. All right. All right. No, man. Nah, that was hot, man. Y'all not ready for this, man. This is the next <laughs> level right here, man. You segue to answer the question for me already because I was going to ask you about the big C. Like, did it affect you? But it seemed like it affected you in a good way because you got to sit yeah. down, you said, and you, you plan things out. And you know what I'm saying? Like, you know? Listen, it's always, you know, there is, you, you can always find the good in it, no matter how bad it is. Find the, the, so that is it. You got to find the good in the bad sometimes. You know what I mean? And, and yeah, definitely. Sometimes we are our own worst enemy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because sometimes we just don't set the bar high enough for ourselves. You know what I mean? But there is always, 
Instead of me, it's, it's not about the problem because we know that every problem have a solution. Yeah. So when things happen in your life, what you do? You have to adjust, adapt, and adjust. Yes. Adjust, you know adapt, what I mean? and adjust. <laughs> I'm going to use that, you know, because it's, it's so true, man, you know? So juggling the movie career and yeah. the music career. Explain that. How, how do you do that? Is you know? Well, I want the tough now <laughs> because the next thing is that you know, there's, there's, not that I wasn't passionate about it before. Yeah. But there is a new phone, you know, this is, there's a new phone love story going on here, you know, with, yeah. this, with, with, with the movie side, especially with what he was able to accomplish, yeah. you know what I mean, on the first time out. Yeah. Um, but it had. Yeah. But you know what I mean? It, 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 it. Because you're on set shooting, and yeah. somebody call you like, I, I want to put Kamani on this song, and I got to do this, and then you got to juggle this, and then you got to go into movie mode, and then yeah. you got to go into music mode. But you know you what know? it is? Yeah. But one at a time. So one when I was time. in movie mode, I just kept it there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And when I was writing music, it, it, it was music for the movie. Yeah. So we were still there. <laughs> so, but yeah, well... Working it out. I know it's time to get back to the album. Yes. So going into that, like, what message would you give to your fans? You know, your music, your music and your movie fans and everybody, all your fans. You know, what, what can um, they expect from Kamani Marley this year? Well, this year you're definitely getting a new album, and okay. you're also getting, and you're getting a new movie. Okay. So you're getting a movie and an album this wow. year. Wow. You tell everybody how they can stay in touch with you. You can link me up at Maestro Marley IG. Yeah. At Maestro Marley at TikTok as well. Yeah, you've been doing a lot of TikToks. Yeah, I seen you, man. I mean, that's all one today, a little dancing. <laughs> I want to say, Kimani, man, you are a a big, big inspiration to me, man. I used to watch you as a kid from the Lime Key days. Even though we're like around yeah. the same age, but like, like the flex was, was like you and Rohan, and like it was. I was like, man, yeah. look at them, man. One day, and then look, yeah. and look at this. I'm, it's my boy now. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, oh, we, 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 <laughs> I'm telling you, it's just a pleasure. Thank Come you, on. my brother. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, man. thank you, thank you. And thank you for having me for the first on the Come on, on man. The Who show would, that, this is a, yeah, you know, I mean, like, that, that speaks volumes. We so uh, humble, but, but Kamani, you are a star, my, my brother. brother. You are a superstar. That, that's why I said. You watch yourself this year, my brother. Man. You watch yourself explode. Remember, I'm saying this first. <laughs> you watch yourself explode, my Kimani, brother. Man, All you right. Know? So, peace, your boy, your BB Lewis. Behind the culture, behind the beats, and we out. Boom. We are